Here's a good news and some bad news from India's northeast. Ulfa, which was once the most credit proscribed terrorist group in India's northeast, is now losing its hold. Ulfa is known to cooperate with Pakistan's spy agency ISI. Its network is spread in Bangladesh and Myanmar, while its senior cadre enjoys the patronage of China. But thanks to Indian Army and the state government, it is now limited to a small pocket and fringes of Upper Assam. Recent intelligence reports suggest that Ulfa is desperate to make a comeback with assistance of ISI and plans to carry out targeted killing in Assam. This is a strategy that ISI is trying in Kashmir too, after the Pakistani-backed terrorist groups were repeatedly pounded into insignificance by the Indian Army and the government. Ulva says the recent attack on Indian Army's convoy, which they can codenamed as Operation Lakhi Pathar, was carried out to mark protest day, which the terrorist outfit observes on November the 28th. Hello everyone, welcome to Resonant News. Like, share and subscribe and do give us your feedback on the content we post. Ulfa came into existence in the year 1979 with the intention to carve out a separate independent state of Assam. By 1990, it was banned and between 2009 and 2018, the entire leadership of Ulfa was either captured or had surrendered to the government. A small faction of it survived in China, Myanmar and Bangladesh under Paresh Barua and was renamed as Ulfa I where I stands for independent. Lieutenant General Kalita of the Indian Army recently confirmed that out of the 35 districts of Assam, Ulfa is now active in just four districts and with a very blue poor influence over its cadre. Few days ago, an army patrol was fired at by the terrorist in Tinsukia district, which was countered with a heavy volley of bullets by the Indian Army. One of the five Ulfa terrorists were reportedly injured and they escaped into the jungle when their attempt to cause any other serious damage. In the last few months, Ulfa has faced public outrage and loss of face. Ulfa killed its own member like Biju Gugai, who was the former leader for All Assam Student Union and had voluntarily joined the terrorist group and two others, Thanjit Das and Sanjeev Sharma, were given death penalty. All three of them were killed because they were suspected of being spies. A public backlash followed these killings and Ulfa faced multiple desertions. Since March 2022, Ulfa has faced a major blow to its activities. The terrorist group, which used to earlier recruit Kalimal youth and take them across to the border to train them, has seen 21 desertion cases in just last four months. The name include members of the core groups like Dhoni Asom, Jakran Asom, and then later in May, Surjit Gogai and Shyam Lam Barua also surrendered. Two cars were shot dead while they were trying to run away. Rihon Ahom, alias Muhammad Shaiful Islam, was given death sentence by Ulfa for trying to flee from the camp. Ulfa now stands exposed as it had shed its sheepskin. Extortions, killings, bombings, targeting of civilians and migrant workers and causing endless civilian casualties had led to a diminishing of respect and support they had once from the common mass. Some of this was revealed during the questioning of surrendered and apprehended guarders. Multiple kinetic operations by the security forces has helped down in cutting down the terror outfit's size and restricted the movement of its cadre, which concerned them to few pockets of Assam. About five to six large recruitment modules have been busted. 70 cadres and 15 overground workers have been arrested in the last eight months. This crumbled Ulfa's structure. The myth of surrender packages has also broken by the state government and contributed in dissuading the youth from joining the outfit. It's running out of funds, weapons and ammunition. Reports indicate that an Ulfa I is now heavily dependent on Naga insurgent group NSCN KYA and both the outfits had held a meeting on 18th October 2022 in Chanka village, Myanmar. It was decided that Ulfa's leader Paresh Barua 
should explore ways to get arms and ammunition from Bangladesh. Abduction or targeted attack on non asmis has been planned in collaboration with Naga insurgent groups. Also, businessmen, especially from the Karbi, Anglong and the Golaghat district, oil contractors and tea garden owners may become targets of extortion. The region where Ulfa plans to concentrate its resources is in Tinsukia, Tibrukar, Chardio district. Violence in areas of Upper Assam, Tirap and Namsai and Mon are also possible. Meanwhile on social media, Alpha has began active hunting for recruits and churning propaganda against the Indian Army. We hope to create awareness among our audience and to help prevent gullible youth from falling into the traps set by such terrorist groups which are desperate for resurrection. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and drop in your precious comments on the channel. Jai Hind.